Hi, it's Corrine, and today I have something really exciting to share with you. I was messaged by this company asking me to try out their chalk markers, and I was happy to try them out, and I am so in love with them that I thought I would do a video on it and share it with all of you. Um, these are called Chocola. I'll have a link in the description box if you want to check them out. I know they're currently on sale right now and they are wet white markers. So they work on anything non-porous. It'll work on glass, whiteboards, mirrors, plastics, chalks boards, ceramics, and I found that it works on paper as well. I've been playing with these the last couple days and I absolutely love them. So I thought I would share with you real quick. Um, you can wipe, they can be used on, like I, I named all those things, whiteboards. You just use a wet cloth. You can use either a paper towel. I've been using just this cloth with some glass cleaner and it wipes right off of whatever you're working on. So let me just show you quickly here. Here's what they look like on paper. So they come with 10 markers. I didn't try the black on this. Um, because I figured it wouldn't work. I have not done the red either, but here is the pink, the blue, the green, the yellow. The yellow doesn't show up that great, but it still shows up. Orange, purple, brown, and white. And I just want to show you quickly here, when you're first using them, they have a high density chalk ink, so it takes a couple minutes to prep them. I've already prepped all of these a couple days ago. Like I said, I've been playing with them. But I left the red one to show you on camera what you do. You want to store them horizontally like this. And these can be found on Amazon. Like I said, I'll put a link so you can check them out yourself and see what you think of them. So these are wet white markers. These are high density chalk ink. So you want to shake them. Once they're prepped, they flow very easily. But you do need to prep them first when, you're, when you first get them. So you just want to shake them for 30 seconds or so. And okay, some of the red has already come down the, the nib, but you'll see once they're prepped, the nib will be completely covered in ink. You want to just press it down. It may take up to two minutes to do this. You just kind of want to keep pressing it onto your paper or whatever surface you're using until you see the paint fully on the nib. So as you can see, it's still um, needs to come down more. I was so impressed with these. I will put photos up. Um, I usually leave, here we go, so now you can see it's flowing beautifully and that's how it'll look once it's completely prepped and ready to go. Once it's ready to go, they work beautifully. I love the red on this. Like I said, this is the first time using the red. Um, Normally I leave my son, now granted he's in high school, but since he was in kindergarten I used to put notes in his lunch box. He doesn't take a lunch anymore, so I probably once a week I leave him a note in his bathroom. So what I did this week is I just wrote on his mirror and it just comes right off. Like I said, I use glass cleaner and it comes right off. So I'll try and insert a picture here. So let me just show you how beautifully these write on paper. I just love the look of these. And they do wash off your clothes, so that's why, like I said, I've been using this rag. I'm not worried about it. It washes right off. And let me just show you a couple of the projects that I've done with this. These are great for like labels too, like if you have canisters that you want to label or just things in your room. These I have in my room and I'll show you closer um, photos of these. I was able to just take the white marker and write on them. I got these from the dollar store. Sorry about that. I got these from the dollar store and just I've had them in my room blank because I was trying to decide what to do with them and then once I start playing with these markers I knew that's exactly what I wanted to do. So let me just show you how easily that these clean up. 
So this is already dried and I'm just going to use some regular Windex glass cleaner and it's already coming off as you can see but I'm just going to wipe it and it comes completely clean. You could th use these on glassware if you wanted to and it just wipes right off. That's how easy it is. So let me let it dry for a second and show you here how easily it writes. Isn't that neat? I just love these. So here is another project that I did with them and I do have a video of how I did this. This is to hang in my craft room. I got this little board from Walmart and I used the white that you see is vinyl and I left the inside of the letters open and colored them in with the pink and blue and like I said I do have a video of that that I will share with you so stay tuned for pictures I will put the video of me working on this in fast play and I hope you enjoy if you have any questions please leave me a comment and check out the description box below for where you can get these markers and like I said I believe that they're currently on sale on Amazon thanks so much for watching